Hello everyone and welcome to Control Engineering and Signal Processing Tutorials. In these tutorials we present real and applicable knowledge of control engineering, signal processing, machine learning, optimization, mechatronics, robotics, etc. In this tutorial we explain how to incorporate and use MATLAB function block in Simulink models. By learning how to combine MATLAB functions as well as MATLAB scripts with Simulink graphical modeling, you will be able to develop a very complex and powerful applications in Simulink. For example, over here you can see a two relatively simple demonstrators that I created in order to illustrate the power of MATLAB function blocks. In this video tutorial, I will first briefly explain these two models and then I will present a step-by-step -step procedure for constructing these models. But before I start with explanations, I would like to briefly mention the following. It took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this free video tutorial as well as all other video tutorials available on my YouTube channel and consequently I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you very much. Over here I defined a constant array or an input array. Double click on this block and you will see the array values. You can easily modify them. This array is an input to this function Double click on this block and you will see that this block consists of a standard MATLAB function. Here's the input, it's an array and there are two outputs. The first output is simply a scaled version of the input array as well as the second output. To summarize, we have here an array or a vector as an input and we have two outputs, that is the outputs are two scaled arrays. Let's go back to our model. You can see over here that the outputs are graphically represented as output array 1 and as output array 2. Over here I use this block called array plot to plot the result. Currently nothing is plotted since I didn't run the simulation. By pressing this button I will run the simulation and let's see the result. It takes some time since you can see over here that the system is being compiled. And voila, here's the result. This is the first output and this is the second output. Let us analyze the second model shown over here. Again, we have an input array. Then again, we have a MATLAB function over here. Double click on this MATLAB function. Inside of this MATLAB function, we have the following code. We take an input vector, an input array, and the first output is a simple sum of the entries. The second output represents a minimum value in the input array. And over here we we'll display the results. Obviously the sum of these entries is equal to 19 and the minimum value is equal to minus 3. Okay, let's start. First let us open the Simulink. Then click over here in order to create a blank model. Maximize the window and let's start with the modeling. Double click over here and type constant. Here's our constant block. Let us modify this constant block to defy, define our input array. Here you can enter random numbers. You can use floats or integers. I will just use integers. And click apply. Click on OK. Next, do a double left click over here and type MATLAB and press here, MATLAB function. Here is our MATLAB function. Connect the output of the constant block to our function block 
and double click on MATLAB function. Here's our MATLAB function. Over here, we will modify the input. The input will be called input array and we will have two outputs. The first output is output array 1 and the second one is output array 2. Over here you can just type end. Let us close this function. Let's go back by clicking over here and let us analyze what happened over here. You can immediately see that the ports, that is, this is the input port of this function, has the name that we defined as an input to our function. And similarly, we have two output ports that correspond to the outputs of the function. So far, so good. Double click on our function, and over here we will write output array is equal to minus 2 times input array. Similarly, we will type output array 2 is equal to 2 times input array. Press save and let's call this function or this whole model as model1.slx. Okay, so far so good. Let's go back one step. Next, we need to plot the results. To plot the results, we will use the array plot. So again, do a double left click over here and type array and you will immediately see this block, array plot. Click over here, expand this block, then control C to copy this block, control V to paste this block and connect the corresponding ports. Okay, let us now run our simulation and let's hope that everything will be fine. And here are the results. Perfect. Let's close these windows and let's click again over here. Let's see and analyze this plot. We can see that the input is 4 and the first output is minus 2 times input and correspondingly we have minus 8 here. So far so good. Over here is minus 2 so over here we will have 4 etc. So we can see that this is the expected output and our model works like it should work. Similarly you will convince yourself that this block creates expected results. Okay, let us now quickly construct the second model. Click on the constant block, do Ctrl C, Ctrl V to paste this block. Then do a double left click over here, type MATLAB function, expand the function, connect the output of the constant block to our new function double click on the function and let's modify this function. Here the input will be input array. We will have two outputs sum value array and min value array. These are basically sum of the values of our array and this is the minimum value of our array. and modify this part here and type sum value array is equal to sum of the input array min value array is equal to min of the input array So far, so good. Save the model and go back to the original Simulink model. 
Let's plot the results. To plot the results, we will use the display block. So double click again over here and type display. Then copy and paste this block and co connect the corresponding output ports with the display blocks. And let's run our simulation and let's see the results. Press over here and let's hope that everything will be fine. Perfect! These two plots are not necessary and we can clearly see that the sum is equal to 9. Obviously 4 minus 3 is 1 plus 10 is 11 minus 2 gives you 9 and the minimum value of this input array is minus 2. Okay, that would be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I create, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you very much and have a nice day.